Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you a few things that I got from Kiki K. So, first things first, I did order a vision board as well, but it's still in its packaging. I still don't know where I'm going to put it in the house, so that's that. That was, I believe it was $59.95, but it's a pretty large board. So, I don't know if I'm going to put it in my room or somewhere by my desk, so... Going off that, I also got two Paper Lovers books from the Love Life line and the Inspiration line. These are really cute. So pretty much these come with like a bunch of cardstock, journaling cards, or any stickers um, that I could use for my vision board. Or I can probably incorporate a lot of these things actually into my planner, my day-to-day -day planner, or a journal, whichever. Whatever you have, you can spice it up a little bit, make it a little pretty and decorate. So this is the inspiration book. These are so cute, I can't. You could also add these to like maybe notebooks that you use for school, give you a little more inspiration so every time you look at it, it makes you, I don't know, work harder. So there's that. Um, they also have these cute little like origami things they're not really like origami they're just like different ways to fold things and they have it already like cut out for you and stuff so you can just peel it off or just cut it out i think this one is oh yeah everything is just like already pre-cut so just rip it out of the paper follow the directions and then you could add it into wherever you want you can maybe i think this is yes yeah, a diy envelope so if i wanted to put this on my vision board i could stick it somewhere there and then i could probably use it as a pocket for drilling cards or any embellishments or anything that i actually want to store so this is a great feature of these and i love how all the stickers have like a gold foiling or rose gold foiling so yeah, so those are the paper books. The main reason why I even placed an order from Kiki K was to get a new personal planner. So for my day-to-day -day use, I do use an Erin Condren right here. This is my everyday planner. I used to track my finances in a large size Kiki K planner, but it didn't work out for me because it's about the same size as this Erin Condren. And just having two planners like of the same size, and I mean, it's not that big, but it's like, this is a pretty thick planner, you know what I mean? So it's like having two of these, this was just too overwhelming for me. So how I ended up transitioning out of my Kiki K large size planner for finances and started using like the monthly spreads in my Erin Condren to track like due dates and stuff like that and I used to really like using this page to track um, events that are going on or to jot down any grateful thoughts which I really love doing so having my bills there just didn't I don't really like the flow of it so I decided to get a medium-sized planner from Kiki K again because I really love the ring bound system for my finances so let's open this up. So I did open this when I first got it. Um, so when you first get it, you get your planner in this box. It's so cute. And I love because the boxes usually match like the theme of the planner, which I think is such a really nice detail. So this is the Erin Condren, and this is my personal planner on top of that. See, this works way better for me just like this. So I did get the option to monogram my initials um, in the blind emboss. I do regret not getting this in the gold embossing because it did look a little tacky online, but when I did see someone else's planner with the gold emboss, it looked really, really nice. Um, but you know what? It's not that big of a deal. It's still nice. It's my initials and it just personalizes my planner that much. So let's look into it. So every Kiki K comes with the notepad on the side here, and I believe on the back too. Yes, it does. I haven't even taken it out yet, but it comes with your notepads on each side. So here we have our pockets. Let's just take this. And for my personal use, I like to add either some clips here or photos. So if I'm using any stickers, like any kits that I buy from Etsy or anyone's personal website, then I just stick the kit here. So maybe if I do find any financial stickers that I find functional, I may stick them back here as well. So let's open this up. I don't want to run anything.
Okay, so now let's look into the planner. So in the first section here, you have your calendar section. And they do come with stickers that you can use um, to mark the different tabs, um, which I really like. They have blank ones here, so you can write them in, or you can use whatever pre-printed ones they have. You have your due dates. Oh, wow, I didn't even know they had this. I like this. Well, obviously, everything here is going to be a due date, but I like this. Enter my personal information, and I love this. It's so cute. And so pretty much whenever you get, like, a new planner, they don't come with any dates, so you can just write them in yourself, um, which I really like uh, because, obviously, depending on when I order it, I may not have that month that I need or I may have an extra month. Um, but what's really great about the Kiki K being a ring bound that you can just easily just take out the paper because it's literally just a binder. So you have your count your monthly spread here. Any meeting notes is pretty much just like filling filler paper and you have up here that says subject date, address, stuff like that. So if you want to take it out to a meeting, um I do have meetings at work but I do use a separate notepad for that because it does get a little messy. Um but this I could probably just use like a, a scratch pad um to do I'd, I could probably just do like my my monthly budget or my bi-weekly budget, whichever, or mark down any um, important details about any of my bills. And then here I, we just have more note paper. So I like how this planner automatically comes with so much paper and so many different tabs. Um, so I could customize this however I want to. So pretty much for me, going into it, I would probably use this as my monthly. Um, I don't know if I would keep this meetings one here. But I mean, since it's already, I could just cover it with the sticker, but I don't know. We'll see. To do, I could keep here too. Um, and then I would probably mark this for to separate my bills, like major credit cards, store credit cards, um, rent or any loans, personal auto loans I could put there, any details. Um, so pretty much I'm going to go into it and I really want to think about exactly what I'm going to be using each tab for to make it more functional for me because the worst thing about getting a new planner is realizing that it's no longer useful for you. So that is for another day. I can show you what I'm going to be doing with it, but that's all I have for today. So thank you for watching. Like this video and please subscribe to my channel as I will be posting more planner updates. Bye!